Hi friends, welcome to Tutor's Funny Channel. Today I am going to teach how to make the ice cream shop pass in cshop.net. Ice cream shop pass I already done in Java. One of my student who asked me that to do the ice cream shop pass in cshop.net so that I made this uh, tutorial. Here this is the ice cream shop pass in cshop.net. Uh, let us show the demo here. Uh, if you run the application you can see this is the dashboard now here there will be the two tabs available ice cream and drink right if you if you want to buy ice cream select this one click on this ice cream which ice cream you have to buy select this one this is a mango you have to give the quantity one click ok it will be added into the uh, this uh, data grid view successfully this one should be the total if you buy this one second if you click this the, right now if go to the drink what is the drink you are going to have select this uh, apple juice one quantity cock one three quantity click ok this one should be the total right the all the stuff should be added successfully right there's very simple pause for the ice cream shop pause in cshop.net how to do this one in cshop i'll be explained so let's close the project now i'm going to create a new project so go to the new 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 project select the language visual c sharp windows application click ok All right now your new project has been created successfully All right here All right now first what i'm going to do is here select this this form i'm going to increase the size little bit after that what i'm going to do is here select this form and i'm going to change the uh, text of this form right text i'm going to change this is the text we are going to change default come as form one i'm going to change as coffee shop pass system just give the name as like this coffee shop pass system right Sorry. right after that i'm going to go to the tool i'm going to get one panel drag on the form here I'm going to get the, give the adding adding as well. This one here I'll give the adding as. This one should be select this one. After that, select this one. Right click properties. Go to the properties window. I'm going to change the uh, background color. This one background color here change it as something. I'm going to give the color as something this color. Right. I'm going to give the colors this one. Right. Perfect. You can give it any color as well you need and uh, let's change this one it's okay right perfect now here i'm going to give the text here so let's go to the toolbox i'm going to drag one label right click properties here i'm going to change the name as coffee sh shop pass pass coffee shop pass right now here this one i'm going to i'm going to here i'm going to change the font size we have to increase the font size select this one font property with bold you have to increase the size as 30 36 it would be great right right 36 if you need to change the foreground color you will be able to change here i'm going to give the color as white should be perfect white you can give any color here i can instead of white i'm going to give the different one yellow right so white is otherwise you can give the default color as black right perfect right you can change the font right here as well here we go to the font property we'll be able to change the font font type you will be able to change i'm going to change the one as time new strong this one. click ok All right perfect All right now what i'm going to do is here here i'm going to design the other stuff so look like this All right so what i'm going to do is here i'm going to change it as that one i'm going to change mm. i'm going to go to the toolbox I drag one panel 
uh, sorry tab so you have to wear the tab yeah, this one tab control select this one and drag on the form it's defaultly come as two we need only two ones you have to expand the size like this select this tab this select this one select the tab select this one here tab pages collection or the property this one first tab i'm going to change the text i'm going to change this one as ice cream so i select this one ice cream click ok uh, we no need to click ok second one we have to change it's automatically changed second one i'm going to change as drink right now click ok right now here tab has been created successfully okay. successfully right now here what i'm going to do is a simple eh? i'm going to write it first thing just like this one tab arrange the size look like clicks right now here i'm going to simply what i'm going to do is here go to right i'm going to go to the toolbox again drag one panel and drag here on this tab and we have to put it like this right inside the tab you have to drag one panel right now here inside this panel we have to going to add the images right so i'm going to go to the toolbox and go to the picture box so here we have the picture box and here p right here drag the picture box perfect right now you select this one go to the this arrow choose image import this is the import i am going to import these images right now here first one i am going to choose this so chocolate open click okay now here you can set it as stretch image it fit on the screen successfully right now the same picture box control c to copy control v to paste and get the copy again right the same thing control c to copy control v to paste and get the another copy so control c to copy control v to paste another copy right we have copied four right simple right perfect now this one click this one we have to change the ice cream uh this one ice cream mm, we have to change the image import second ice cream this one mix fruit click okay Let's change it you can set this one as stretch image automatically selected third one as we have to choose the one as strawberry click okay fourth one we have to change this one as a mango this ice cream open it click okay perfect perfectly right now what i'm going to do is here i need to another things as drink the same thing you have to put as a drink okay so what i'm going to do is here go to the drinks tab here we go to the toolbox again drag one panel inside the tab right here what i'm going to do is here i'm going to drag the image so this image same image control c to copy drink tab control v to paste sorry select this image copy and we have to paste here right click and paste it here right now it's come right so the same thing control c to copy control v to paste here control c to copy control v to paste here right okay perfect now here this one should be the drinks item so select this one we have to choose different image as drink first one i am going to select as this one cock open click okay second one choose second one choose image import second one should be apple juice click okay third one should be choose pot orange juice perfectly fit on the screen right perfect 
right now let's click on the form and we have to set the starting position location as center screen when the form is run it's it's running at the center let's check here it's run it's perfectly run at the center now we have to do another couple of things as tape we have to add the uh, data grid view and we have to calculate the total final total so let's back to our project click on this one you have to write now here we have to simple we have to write now here we have to drag one we have to decrease the size of that right. now here we have to add the going to add one data grid view if you know the control name you just go and see the letters right c combo box d data grid view right it's easy to find it right it's a data grid view right it's look like here right simple right after that what i'm going to do is here i'm going to uh, add the add adding of here right so how to add the adding here you can click this one add columns otherwise you can go here and here also you can click add columns you can add the columns right so first one i'm going to add as item first item column this one should be item column the same add a tag as item second one should be column two second one should be price here also control c copy control v to paste here price third one should be quantity this also quantity this one should be total total right that's it that's the thing we have to do close it right that's the only thing you have needed perfect now i need total text box only so we have to decrease size here to decrease sizes here so no, we have denoted it here. Right, we have to decrease size here. Simple, little bit. Right. Here we need one button. This button we have to name it as add. Select this one. Add. Go here. This one should be add. Right. Here we need one uh, text box. So go to the toolbox and drag one text box. Select this text box properties and change the color background color as you have to change as black right. okay now here what I'm going to say I need one text box uh, label this one we have to name it as total this one here we have to right click properties we have to go to the font bold 20 here we have to change the color of that color i am going to change the foreground color as uh, this one right that's the thing we have to do right now let's do the things right now we have we have successfully designed the page now let's check the look now it's look great right now after done this we have to go to the code part right now let's close it the one now we successfully finished the design part now we are going to go to the code part here first i'm going to run the application here what i'm going to do is here the first step if i select the ice cream here if i click the ice cream uh, input box will be display for enter the quantity right if you enter the relevant quantity and click add button the item should be uh, item should be added into the data grid view here right that's the thing we have to do right so the thing is in shisha.net input box is not available right uh, how to get the uh, input box 
right so how to get the input box is you have to do follow you have to follow these steps right simply go to the project this is your project i just give the default one windows for uh, application for here okay you just click on the project name here right click add reference here you have to search it microsoft visual basic microsoft visual basic here this one should be here microsoft visual basic here this one right here you have to select this one and click ok right you have to add the mic uh, microsoft visual basic reference right in visual basic there is a uh, uh, input box right so that you have to add the uh, reference to c sharp microsoft visual basic reference reference to here right in order to uh, import the text box here right so after that what i'm going to do is here after import that and go to your form uh, code part here this one should be the design part here this one form.css if you click on this one this is a code part here you have to simply write using microsoft dot visual basic that's the only thing you have to write that's it right now you will be able to write the uh, input box right this one should be the must right that's the only thing you have to do after that what i'm going to do is here here you have to write the mouse click event to click right if you uh, if you write the mouse event click then only it, it should work right so first you have to identify the name of the picture box this one should be picture box one this one should be picture box two three four five six seven right names are correct now what i'm going to do is here go to the form.css here i have to add this one thing to uh, this one this is a form constructor it's a form constructor he after the initialization component you have to write here is first one should be picture box one dot mouse click mouse click event plus equal you have to write is a mouse click you have to write mouse click mouse click right here right now here you have to generate the this one right if you generate it it automatically generate the uh, method here right if you write like this it, it asks to generate the method it's automatically generate the uh, method here private void mouse clicks this one right now here you no need to you have to remove this uh, this default one inside the mouse click throw new this one we no need backspace to remove them right we no need it right after that we have to the same thing you have to mouse click event control c to copy control v to paste here right we have to get the how many picture box available here four here three so totally eight available right here this one two this one three four five six seven eight picture box right right you have to make sure the name first one picture box one two three four five six seven only seven right we have to remove the extra one right seven right now here if you click the mouse what happened is i had did it if you click the mouse picture one picture box one here yeah, i have set the mouse click listener here it's a listener okay it's 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 goes to here what is the listener you are uh, clicking which mouse click is you clicking right here it's goes here right now here you have to give the condition here right inside the mouse click event i am going to create three variables first int price after the string name after that int quantity right after that what i am going to do is here i am going to create another variable bar click picture click picture i create the variable equal you have to write here like this picture box 
picture box sender this one picture box sender right you have to get it here right now here what i'm going to do is here, which feature is you are selected clicked right first you have to check first if this click picture this one control c to copy control v to paste here you have to check right equal into picture box one picture box one right now you have to check you have to write here is uh, get the name this name variable you have to get here if it is picture box one we have to write it here is chocolate chocolate right chocolate right price i am going to put as price variable i am going to here we have to write it here which uh, price i am going to write it here is 20 after that we have to write a quantity variable this one right now here quantity we have to write like this quantity we have to write quantity if i click the picture box what happens is uh, input box should be display for entering the quantity so we have to write the input box look like this here first we have to write the int dot pass because this is an integer data type so we have to write int dot pass here we have to write as a like this input box you have to write here like this interaction interaction this one dot input box that here you have to write enter the quantity enter the quantity comma this one should be quantity adding comma third one should be at a blank right this one you have to write perfect right now let's check whether it's working fine or not right now let's run the project and check it's building right it's working if you click here it's working perfectly this is the this is called as input box right now here we have to here we have to right now here we have to write the message box and show uh, you have to write message box and check whether it's working fine or not so you have to write this one quantity dot to string right if you call to string method what is the value you enter in the quantity input box it passing to the relevant variable if you call that it is working right we have to convert them as a to string method right because this should be the integer data type right so here, here if you click to quantity you enter the two here two will be displayed right it's working fine right now what i'm going to do is here we have to remove them we don't need them right we just the testing purpose we have to write like this right now here we have to this one should be the things right we this we have to check the same thing we have to check another things as well so here we have to write the same if we have to get the copy control c to copy control v to paste below here we have to write the extra line here else if you have to check second one right if you click this one picture box one it goes to the things like this if you click this one it goes to the here right second one else now here the second picture box we have to change the text this one should be the mixed fruit right okay here price i'm uh, i'm going to change it as 25 right the same thing uh, do the another field also this is strawberry this one should be the mango right if the person should click on the ice cream select the click this ice cream it goes to the relevant here okay what you what you, what you are written inside the if it goes here name price and here it's work if it's click second one this one after that you have to same thing a control sheet copy control it paste here this one should be picture box three okay you have to make sure the name you just see, click on and you can make sure here yeah, picture box three this one picture box four right name is important right right this one should be strawberry strawberry you have to write here is 35 right others others are same the same thing you have to do the control c to copy control v to paste here this one should be picture box four this one should be mango mango 
we have write as this one should be the 30 right that's it after that what i'm going to do, see the same thing you have to do this this stuff as well coca-cola Coca -Cola, apple juice and uh, this one should be the orange juice so let's do the same thing control seed copy and read basically here we have to write this is cold right price should be you have to give as this one should be the 10 this one should be picture box 5 control seed copy control read paste here if the person select picture box 6 this goes to the picture box 6 mean orange juice so orange, sorry apple juice 7 mean orange juice apple juice apple juice 20 this one 7 mean orange juice right that's the thing we have to do right perfect now let's check whether it's this all the stuff are worked if you click drink right it's working fine it's working fine right it's working fine perfect right now what i'm going to do is here i'm going to calculate the if you select the if you select the uh, click on the uh, ice cream and enter the quantity the item the, all the details should be added into the below table here right so how to do the task right now here go to the phone you're right now here i'm going to calculate the total right first here price quantity multiply and total should be displayed here so that i'm going to what i'm going to write is here i have to create the variable dot so here i go to the i'm going to go above here i'm going to create the variable int total Now here you have to get the variable int sorry total equal you have to write the things what is the uh, we have to multiply price and quantity if the uh, person select uh, click orange juice relevant price and quantity should be you have to calculate so so price variable price multiply by quantity what's the quantity entered here perfect now it show the error ah the problem is this right here this variables we have to cut off this one control x to cut off and control v to paste below above the function you have to put it right now it's work now here the another problem is the quantity show the error what is the error if you if if the uh, show the error you just move the mouse cursor on the error it show the error uh, what is the problem it show the member is defined more than once it's defined two times that's error right where's defined when you run the application check already huh here you show the data grid view text box column quantity right it's error is coming here data grid view so here the problem is data grid view also i have written the quantity name column name i have written as a quantity so we just change the one you have to change as quantity one right here also quantity one quantity one quantity one that quantity one right it's perfect now you can now it's there is no error right the problem is here here it's go to the data grid view edit column you can change here course the quantity column here i name it as a quantity here that's a problem right so name it as a quantity like this that's a problem the same name it show the i read if you return again it show the error so that's a error right simple right now here what i'm going to do is here now this thing added into the data grid view so this you have to write is this dot and we have to write this dot uh, we have to check data grid view one this is the name of the data grid view here this is the name of data grid view one I'll write it here 
data grid view one dot rows dot rows dot rows dot add right dot add right now here we have to add the remaining stuff first one should be the name first column should be the name name second column should be the price so this is the price we have to write it here price third one should be the quantity so we have to write quantity one this one after that total right price and total this should be multiply and uh, assign to the variable total you have to put here total dot you have to convert them into the answers to string method it is passing right now let's check whether it's working fine or not click one here it's working fine if you press this two here it's working okay so it's multiply and 50 will be the answer right now here the extra line will be coming here how to remove the one so here go to select the table uh, data grid view go to the data grid view property here data grid view property this is a data grid view. this is a event this is a data grid view property to go to the data grid view property here you have to this one allow the user to the add the row this one you have to false here now it's go right now here it's run the project you can check it's working fine if you order the ice cream sorry uh, drink here apple juice quantity is working it's orange juice right it's working fine Ock. it's working fine perfect now what i'm going to do is here we have to calculate the final total this is all the total we had calculated and put in the final total right how to do the task right it's very easy stuff let's go to the code here we have to write the we have to uh, write another variable sum here we have to write create the variable sum equals zero right now here after that we have to write the while loop sorry for loop for int row equals zero after that you have to write row greater than data grid view one dot rows dot count here we have to write row plus plus here we have to write sum equals sum plus convert dot int 32 here we have to write data grid b1 dot rows to write row dot cell here we have to write this one as a which shell you are going to calculate starting from 0 position 0 1 2 3 third position so we have to write the 3 here dot value that's the thing we have to write we have to calculate the third position the answer should be display all the third position what are the values available which calculated calculated third cell 3 calculated and put into the variable sum and here we have to that one we have to pass into this text box text box one we have to change this one as a right this one right so we have right here text box one this is the name of the text box text box one dot dot text equal sum dot to string we have to call the to string method right it's all the things are calculated and uh, display this text box one text box right this is a name here it's a name right it's a name right you can change the name here if you want to give the uh, different name you can change here right instead of text box one if you uh, feel to write txt sum press enter key the name should be changed here also you have to change the name txt it's changed automatically because you wrote here otherwise you can change like this txt sum dot text equal 
sum dot to string right this is a final answer should be here right now let's check one why it's not displayed here select the text box right the problem is what is the problem is here foreground color also black uh, background color also black so that the 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 answer is coming but it's not show but with the foreground color is a text color i'm going to change this one as a yellow it's perfect yellow this color right now let's check click to it's working but the uh, text is uh, small very small so we have to change this one as a increase the size for the font color font size with bold we have to change it as 36 36 right and times new strong you have to give the times new strong click ok 36 now let's run the application check it's working here it's working fine it's working fine right it's perfect it's working perfect right. now i'm going to change the font style this one so here select this one Go to the font here we have to change this one torch and pro this one font i'm going to change right now it's perfect right now let's run the application check here it's working perfectly right uh, now here i'm going to check this one second right now it's working perfectly i hope you guys you understood the tutorial well if you have any doubt on this you can ask me anytime if you like my channel please subscribe me like me thank you for watching